what up youtube we're back today is gonna be a two-parter um first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the bumper off um just put a little video out there to show you how to remove the bumper a little tips and tricks um i need to remove my bumper because i'm actually gonna take off my stock air box and the lower hellcat air box with the intake tube and i'm gonna get whatever this is that had fallen down and then I'm going to replace it with the leg maker um, true cold air intake show you how to install that um, there's some cutting you got to do so I'll show you how to do that as well while it's totally not necessary to uh, remove your wheels to take off the bumper I'm gonna do it anyways just because it makes things easier um, so what we're gonna eventually need to do is pull back some of this plastic here because there's a screw, uh, if I can remember correctly, it's there's a screw here and then there's a one up here and then there's one more. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those off that way so I can get the bumper. Um, you could jack this up and turn your wheels to give you more room. Um, I'm just literally gonna take the wheels off anyways, so it makes it that much easier to get it done. So here we go. All right, so to make things easier on yourself, there is a bolt here, 10 mil. There's also a 10 mil that's right about here and right about here. Uh, to make it easier for yourself, um, there's about a dozen push pins that you can take out and you can fold this entire thing over. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So there's, yeah, about 12. Uh, make sure you do them all that way so you don't break anything and it, it just makes your job easier uh, I promise you'll do it faster removing the pins than you will trying to fight um, The wheel well or the wheel liner All right, now that I got them all out I Can literally just peel this whole thing back And you just have so much more room to work with so like I said, there's a screw but the screws right there apologize for not having a light so all you gotta do is just get a 10 mil on there break them free you can wiggle them out with your hands and then i'll show you what's next okay so i've got everything out on each fender and the next step you're going to do is you're going to pull out all your little push pins and then what that's basically going to do is you can actually start to oh there's some under here i forgot so you just got to take off these two screws here and then this whole fascia will basically start to slide off. All right, so once you're able to pull off your front fascia, I will say this, um, if you still have your um, like oil pan cover, you will need to take off the front two bolts as well. Um, you'll also need to disconnect um, your side marker light. So you can see that there's not enough uh, wiggle room on the sensor. So you basically have to push into the sensor and pull out to quick release. And then once you get those off, you can pull your bumper away. All right, <clears throat> there you go. So you do just gotta disconnect, like I said, the uh, fog light, your side marker light, and then that's it. Pull the bumper right off, and then to reassemble, you basically just do it backwards. So thanks for watching.